All right, so here we are with my 04 RX-8. Just got finished installing a supercharger last month with a um, piggyback computer and a lot of other little mods to it here. So I'll just try to go over it real quick. Got uh, Tim here to help ask a few questions for me and uh, <laughs> see how it goes here, all right? So let's start out with under the hood. Uh, the supercharger stands out pretty well there. This is a supercharger I got off of uh, uh, eBay for um, about 1600 bucks, and it didn't come with a computer or anything, so I made my own computer for it. And basically got the computer and a few of the other parts up and running um, before I put the supercharger in. So a lot of the mods, like the coils and some of the other things for this, the, uh, the two-stroke oil injection, um, and uh, the air and everything like that were all done before the supercharger went in just to get it um, to work at um, uh, the uh, base level to start with. Yeah. Cool. I added the supercharger and that went pretty well. Already had the computer tuned. Got a lot of little extras here on the computer. Uh, and then the latest add that just did to it was um, put a uh, water meth injection right into the intake manifold there, right before the supercharger to help cool the supercharger. It didn't come with an intercooler. And uh, so we'll take a look at the trunk. Yeah, so mounted that all in here. It's kind of sunny out here, so hard to see it. Put your hand further down the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to just get a video. Mm. Anyway, it's gonna have to be good enough. So you mounted the wire all. You just wired it under the car, basically, or through the car, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the wiring is back behind the um, carpet here. Runs down through a grommet, and then underneath the car, following on the fuel rail, all the way up to the front. Mm. And so it's just um, three wires running up there along with the um, the cable or the uh, actual meth cable to go in. So anyway, let's start it up and see how it sounds. Tim's going to go ahead and start it. Um, also in the car, there is a button to turn on the supercharger right there, which is just left on. And a button on top also to turn it on. Uh, kind of like a Mad Max button and then also have the uh, boost controller and the air fuel right there. So go ahead and fire it up, Tim. Yeah. And you got to wait. There you go. Good shot. You got to wait to rev it till the uh, air fuel meter registers down there. It's still not registering yet. What do we need to register at? Uh, it'll be like 14.7 is the normal that the car likes to run at, and then it should drop down around the 12s when we get into boost. See it? It says 7.4. Now it went up to 14. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So now you can go ahead and just uh, just give it a quick rev down to the floor. That sounds pretty good. Let me get a little sound of the exhaust while you're doing that too. Sounds good. Wow. That really does. That sounds very good. <laughs> All right, and then one of the motor here. All right. Yeah, it's on a clutch there. That all stops. Um, yeah, go ahead and turn it off. Okay, so thanks Tim for helping to make the video. Good work. Yeah, looks good.